Nearly one in five people suffer from some form of insomnia on a nightly basis. I am one of them. To help these people, roboticists from the University of Delft built Somnox, a sleeping robot. I'm there today to find out if it can help me. Hello. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, Somnox, it's a sleep robot. How did that come to be? It actually all started in the Robotics Institute at the University of Technology of Delft, where I was a robotics engineer at that time. And since I was personally exposed to the effects of sleep deprivation, and rather than reaching for addictive medication, we thought, hey, it might be time to have a technological approach on solving sleep. But, I mean, still, when you think of a robot, you mostly think of, you know, something made of metal and hard and, and, mm -hmm. and you know, moving, moving like this. Most of the people that say a sleep robot, what did you say? They think, like, robots take our jobs, they are harmful, uh, not beings that you would like to cuddle with. Yeah, so they were quite, like, what are you making? Because it's still, at our university, soft robotics is a very new and innovative a stream within the robotics uh, industry. So can you take me a bit through uh, through the history? So starting out from the first prototype, what features did it have? And Yes, yeah, so actually in the beginning, it, it did everything. Like we wanted to tickle all the senses, uh, sounds, breathing, maybe even bake you a, an egg in the morning. <laughs> it was super big and it was you weren't able to sleep with it in a one person bed. And another big challenge was that of the mechanical snoring sounds. Like you can hear everything in the bedroom. So we needed to make all the mechanical actuation that is going on in a robotic to be super silent. After hiding away all their secret mechanisms, Julian showed me the workshop where they built the robot. So I would say that it feels and it breathes like if it's really alive. It was a big challenge not to make it a robotic breathing. Um, and in combination with the algorithm that can sense whether you're awake and asleep and then actively do something to help you sleep, that's what we had the patent on and that is, I think, the next step in sleep te technology to, to help you sleep. Yeah. Can you tell me a little what, what we see here? This is like what the inside, there's like a more stiff shell there mm -hmm. where all the components are embedded in. This is uh, 3D printed SLS, selective layer sintering, but also like we've used and tested all kinds of speakers with the bass and the treble. Think about the battery capacity as well. You need to get uh, circuit boards. This is basically applied on top of all the different parts of the robotic. Mm -hmm. And we have a different sleeve that is wrapped around it. Every faculty could contribute to our product, not just one, it's, it's everyone. Yeah. Uh, that's what makes it kind of cool, I think. Yeah. Okay, so and then you started building this prototype. What was kind of the point where you thought we're onto something? At the moment, we found that the prototypes really started to, to add value for users that were suffering from sleep deprivation. With 2,000 mils in, a, in one week of people saying, holy cow, I want to test it. And then we were like, wait a second, we can either leave the prototype as it is now, or we are starting a, a startup and become an entrepreneur. And we did quite well because we had test sleepers that started naming the robotic. So that they really had some kind of connection. So if you say, I'm sleeping with a robot, people get really interested because they want to know. They have this stigma indeed, like, is it a sex robot? And then they find out, oh, wait a second, it's something totally different. Were there any people that had trouble with it? Or? Oh yeah, for sure. We had a lot of couples testing out and then only one had the robotic, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then we had the husband or the partner saying, so what about me? You're not spooning me anymore. You're only spooning the robotic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't want to make the substitute of your partner. I would see Somnox as an addition to the family. So I have trouble uh, staying asleep a okay. lot. Mm -hmm. And having something that can help me get back to sleep then, without having to disturb my partner, that would be a good thing. Yeah, right? exactly, because if you are awake every night, you don't want to wake your partner, you don't want to disturb them. So if the robotic helps you, rather than addictive medication, then every partner will be way more willing to have a robotic in there. So, and how would you respond then to people that have issues with privacy? We have only anonymous data and we have a companion uh, mobile application that synchronizes only in the morning. You won't know when I'm masturbating. No, I, I, I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> so how do you see the future of these kinds of soft robots? I think they will be super popular um, because they can be an addition to the family. So think about the situation here that you are away from home. So let's say you have the breathing pattern of your partner in the robotic, her voice, 
maybe even her smell, to have this interconnectivity while you're not at the same place at that time. Before letting me take the robot home for a week to try it out, they took me to their test bed to show me how it works. Uh, to activate it, we have a temporary uh, dashboard here to make mm. it easy, to make it also use it without smartphones. So how do I turn it on? Yeah, so if you hold it for one second, uh -huh. and it will say sleep well, and, and you will feel the physical rising and falling. Ah, yeah, yeah, I and feel so it. Give it a try, you can spoon it. So like, like you would do with a teddy bear or like maybe this? your girlfriend. <laughs> Sleep well. Thank you for your conversation, for all your nice explanations. <laughs> I guess uh, I'm just going to stay here. Yeah. I just spent a bit more than a week with my sweet, sweet robot baby. And I got to say, it really worked. Um, it makes a tiny little bit of sound when it breathes. You can turn on things like rain or rivers or waves, whatever puts you to sleep. And overall, it's an experience that I haven't ever had before, but it really worked for me to get me to sleep. So I think for people that don't mind hugging a robot, it could be an excellent solution for getting asleep, staying asleep. And I have to say, I see a bright future for the guys at Somnox, this little robot, and the future of soft robotics in general.